The much anticipated New York International Auto Show opens to the public tomorrow. The event is the most attended car show in the world. More than a million visitors will see about a thousand cars, SUVs and trucks. Tim Stevens is editor in chief of the automotive website Roadshow at our partner CNET and he joins us now. Tim, good morning. Good morning. Can we first talk about this car out front with the Jack Russell Terrier who's having can. the time of his life? That is <laughs> Nissan's concept car, uh, the Rogue Doe. Rogue Doe. What goes right. on here, Tim? So this is basically the next step. You know, we've got minivans that take care of your kids. Now we need something to take care of your pets. And so Nissan created this concept. They basically put all the pet friendly stuff you could ever want in the back of this Rogue. There's a ramp so your dog can get up. If you have a smaller dog or like me, an older dog, uh, there's uh, actually a water tank in the back with a washer. So you can wash your dog if it gets dirty. There's a dryer and a vacuum back there, so if it spills its kibble, you can pick that up. Um, it's got a little bowl that folds out from the side. There's even a place to put your, your poop bags on the side, too. Wow, it has everything. Is this <laughs> catering to a certain kind of consumer here? I'm Absolutely. Are looking yeah. at a certain age yeah. bracket here? Th those who really treat their fur babies well will definitely want a car like this. <laughs> yeah. Even the, the rear view cameras have been tilted so you can see your dog hanging their head out the window, which is really so, what we want to see when we're driving along. I'm interested in speed. Of course. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> For cars. <laughs> For cars, let's say cars. 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 Okay. cars. Okay. That's important to clarify these things. Tell <laughs> me about the Dodge Challenger. Uh, so we're talking about the Demon, which is the new appropriately named version of the Challenger. It is evil and it is absolutely awesome. It is the quickest and the fastest production car on the quarter mile ever. It will cover the quarter mile in just 9.65 seconds at its top speed of 140 miles an hour. It is so quick, it will actually lift the front wheels off the ground when it launches. It gets to zero to 60 in 2.3 seconds. 2.3 seconds, it'll pull almost two Gs on a launch, which is pretty outrageous. It is ridiculously fast, and this is a production car, so rolling off the showroom floor, it can do all these things, it's pretty amazing. The passenger seat is optional. You have to pay an extra dollar if you want a passenger seat to save weight. Wow, what about SUVs? A lot of SUVs on the show floor. We just actually awarded our World Car of the Year yesterday, and all three of our finalists were SUVs for the first time ever. Huh. The winner was the Jaguar F-Pace, but that shows that there's a lot of interest in crossover SUVs, these small SUVs that are kind of bridging the gap between your sedans and your full-size SUVs. Why is that happening, given the fact that the industry is so focused on fuel efficiency? At this it, it is a really interesting dichotomy right now that we are seeing cars getting bigger and taller, but they're also getting lighter. We see a lot more advanced manufacturing techniques, high yeah. tensile strength steel, steel, excuse me, aluminum, carbon and fiber that allow these bigger cars to be lighter and they still drive a lot like a smaller car but you have the the higher perspective you're sitting up taller and a lot of people feel safer in a car what like do you that. make of the fact that tesla has a higher market cap than either ford or gm <laughs> it's definitely an interesting thing uh, we're seeing investors really looking down the road five years ten years down the road and thinking that if tesla can pull off the model three and can capitalize on all the success of the model three that they can really blow up in a big big way you know right now obviously tesla doesn't have anywhere near the sales of uh, either yeah. ford or yeah. gm them, but these investors are being a little bit optimistic and hoping down the oh, road they told betting on the come. Exactly, exactly. And did you wear that suit when you, when you drove the $3 million Bugatti? <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I dressed down a little bit. Hey, yes. Hey, Tim, uh, you do have a new look. Thank you. I've, I've had this It's for the day. auto show. show. Everything's Absolutely. new right yeah, now, right? Be pressing the show floor. I, I was lucky. Are you addressing for us? Yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> Charlie. I was a new press. Uh, I was, was lucky to drive the Chiron a few uh, about a month ago, which is a three million dollar Bugatti hypercar. Wow. Uh, One thousand five hundred horsepower, about the power of seven of your average sedans. Yeah. Wow. Um, this Thanks. car. Better wear that suit for a car like that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Tim. My pleasure. Thank you.